All right, let's get straight to the point. In June 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope made a groundbreaking discovery. It captured a deep field image, revealing numerous galaxies far away in the cosmos. This opened a new chapter in our understanding of the universe, challenging what we thought we knew. Galaxies started emerging from what we believed was the universe's dark ages, casting doubt on our cosmic model. The telescope found not just a couple, but hundreds of galaxies. One, in particular, caught the eye of Austin astronomer Stephen Finlin, who named it Mace's Galaxy after spotting it on his daughter's birthday. Initially, scientists thought Mace's galaxy formed almost immediately after the Big Bang. However, more advanced analysis showed it to be about 100 million years older. Still, it holds the title of the oldest galaxy ever observed, forming just 390 million years after the Big Bang. Yet, its record might not last long. The team is evaluating about 10 more galaxies that could be even older. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched just a year ago, is transforming our understanding of the cosmos. In addition to uncovering ancient galaxies, it recently identified a type of star only their eyes to exist, dark stars powered by annihilating dark matter particles. Dark matter, constituting most of the universe, remains invisible, but this discovery could open doors to understanding how the universe first got its light. For 15 years, scientists speculated about dark stars being among the universe's first, and Webb's observations suggest three candidates fitting the characteristics of dark stars. Now, let's talk about Fritz Zwicky's tired light theory. This theory suggests that the redshift we observe might not be due to galaxies moving away from us but because light loses energy as it travels across the universe. Combining this theory with an expanding universe can help reinterpret the redshift. Physicist Paul Dirac's hypothesis about coupling constants introduces another layer. These fundamental rules governing particle interaction might have evolved over time. If we let these constants change, the time for early galaxies to form extends from a few hundred million to several billion years. This challenges the traditional interpretation of the cosmological constant, suggesting a new constant accounting for evolving coupling constants. According to this model, the universe could be 26.7 billion years old, twice the previously estimated 13.7 billion years. The James Webb Space Telescope doesn't stop there. It recently allowed astronomers to see 44 galaxies formed in the first 500 years of the universe, challenging our understanding of its age. Looking deeper, they found galaxies formed only 200 million years after the Big Bang. The telescope's deep field image revealed older galaxies emitting unexpected amounts of energy, 10 times more than predicted. Scientists are puzzled, did this energy come from black holes or massive stars? Simulations have failed to provide an answer, and researchers are exploring Regent Gupta's model for a potential explanation. The mystery of the universe's origin continues, and scientists are eager to hear your thoughts. Share your comments on this fascinating journey into the cosmos.